It all started, strangely enough, in the NATO Defence College in Paris. The Atlantic College is, of course, nothing whatever to do with NATO. Now, after nearly six years, we have 230 boys from 35 countries. And this term, for the first time, nine girls as well. It seems to me that a great many people spend a great deal of time telling us what is wrong with the world we live in. And precious few of them do anything about it. That is why I have now agreed to become the president of the International Council of the United World Colleges. I obtained the consent of the International Council to change its name to United World College. An international council is responsible for the development of these colleges. National committees in many countries throughout the world select students and provide scholarship funds. The aim is the development of human understanding through education. It's a, a rather, as I don't hesitate to say, idealistic approach towards education. The college is adopting the International Baccalaureate. This examination will qualify its students for entry to universities throughout the world. And the whole point about this, these colleges, and I must emphasize this, is that they are not schools for uh, wealthy people's children or the sons and daughters of diplomats or whatever, politicians or princes. Um, but in order to come here, you must qualify. One of the things that was clear to us from day one was that if Atlantic College was to be the only one, the project was not worthwhile. Why not start a chain of international schools for teenagers in the cause of peace? I'm leaving here this summer to take up the headship of the new college of the Adriatic. It gives me enormous pleasure to declare this college well and truly open. La Fondazione del Collegio dell'Adriatico è il primo collegio istituito sul continente europeo e il primo fuori dei paesi di lingua inglese. Molto bello per noi vedere come crescono anche le amicizie fra di loro durante il biennio e come dopo il biennio, quando sono partiti di Duino, rimangono in contatto fra di loro. Lavoriamo anche strettamente con vari ministri della pubblica istruzione ed anche per esempio con la Commissione per i profughi dell'ONU. Così abbiamo potuto accogliere giovani di paesi come l'Uganda, come l'Etiopia, come il Sudan, come la Cina, eh, l'Afghanistan giovani che senza una pausa di studio non avrebbero potuto mai immaginarsi in un tale collegio.